Hello, magnificent human beings. My name is Landon Slaughter, and here we do yoga, we talk about life, and we focus on personal growth. This class right here is a full 55-minute hour-long class that revolves around Gomukhasana, that is cow face pose. So if you're looking for a full class that incorporates cow face throughout the flow, then this is the class for you. So stay tuned, roll out your mat, and I will roll the intro screen. Finding yourself in a comfortable seated position here on your mat, go ahead and close your eyes and begin focusing on your breath. Inhales through the nose, slow soft exhales out the nose. Keep going in through the nose and softly out the nose. Keeping with this slow, steady ujjayi breath, a very slight constriction in the back of our throat helps to create that audible sound of our breath, that oceanic breath. Very good, staying with it, keeping with your presence, your relaxation, and just forgetting about anything that you have to do today or forgetting about your week, whatever it may be, just being present here on your mat as you please. allowing an intention to surface for your practice today. Something soothing, something calming, whatever you wish. And once you have your intention, sealing it with three cleansing breaths. So inhale through your nose, inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale out the mouth. Inhale through your nose, inhale, 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 and exhale out the mouth. Once more, inhale through your nose, inhale, 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 hold, and gentle sigh. Very good. Open up your eyes, and coming into a cobbler's pose, bound angle to start off. Nothing too intense, simply Bring the soles of your feet together, fingertips, the top of your feet, thumbs underneath, roll your shoulders back, eye gaze just above the horizon, and a few breaths. Inhales, lengthen your spine. Exhales, soften your hips. A few steady, calming breaths. and release. Maybe pushing yourself back a little bit on your mat, but coming into a seated, wide-legged forward bend. So separating your legs as wide as you comfortably can. Hands around behind you here, if that helps to keep that flat back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward. And if you want to let your background, that's totally fine. Placing your hands on the mat here and just real gentle, gentle rounding, not hunching, but a small rounding in that back's okay. And coming on back, go ahead and bring your legs on in and finding yourself in a staff pose. Stretching those legs on out. 
your Dandasana staff pose, taking a relatively active staff pose. So hands by your sides here, roll your shoulders back, lengthen your spine, sternum lifts, and very, very slight inward rotation of those legs. Nothing serious, helping to ground down through those sits bones, shoulders roll back, eye gaze just above the horizon, inhales, lengthen your spine, exhale, sits bones, physically and energetically ground into the earth. And soften everything. All right, go ahead and identify that left heel, bring it on in, base of your seated forehead to knee. Now, try to bring this knee back so you're almost creating kind of a obtuse angle with your legs here and then squaring your shoulders with the front you're going to feel this a lot more in your kind of hip area and very gently coming down grabbing wherever you can Breathing, taking this really wide seated forehead to knee here, this kind of wide open stance because it's one of the areas that I'm going to kind of help loosen up before we get into our cow face later on. And release. Okay, simply switching your legs on out and bring that right heel on up in towards your groin and then bring this knee back as far as you can, placing your heel really close to that leg, making sure that creating that kind of obtuse angle greater than 90 degrees and Go ahead and fold on down, not worrying too much kind of about keeping that straight back. You can let your back round, trying to find that feeling way back there in your hip. Keep with your breath, keep with your focus, you've got it. and release bring that leg on out you can bob your knees shake it out move around a little bit and then bring your feet on up bending your knees and just hug it on in relax your forehead on your knees and just take a couple of breaths Eye gaze forward and go ahead and you can cross your legs or swing your legs around behind you coming into that tabletop pose. Ah, fingertips spread wide on the mat. Shake it out, wag it out, move around. A few cat cows to kind of help loosen everything up. So go ahead, inhale, look up, drop your belly. Eye gaze lifts. Exhale, cat, push the earth away from you. Inhale, look up, drop your belly, eye gaze lifts. And exhale, push the earth away from you. Keep going, inhale, eye gaze lifts. Coming up for that cow, Bittanasana. And Marjayasana, cat, push the earth away from you. Okay, neutral spine, loosening up those shoulders just a little bit because shoulders is also a part of cow face, getting into our puppy pose. So take a little mental note of where your palms are on the mat and then lower your elbows down to this point, placing your forearms on the mat. 
and then by about one inch, inch, those hands forward, tuck your toes, and very slowly bring your glutes back to your heels. Relaxing your forehead on the mat, just breathe. Stretching out those shoulders, almost feeling kind of that forearm flesh pull on the mat. Not a lot, just a little. Slowly shift your weight forward, fingertips on the mat, and downward facing dog. Bring it all the way back. Pedal it out, walk it out, getting loose, waking up those calves, waking up all those muscles in your body, getting kind of twisty if you want, moving around. It's your down dog, it's your practice, so kind of waking things up, moving around as you please. All right, left leg, brief three-legged, bring it through, base of your lunge, slowly, nothing quick, hands up overhead with presence, with control, with focus. Being in your body, feeling all those little sensations, hips square with the front, left knee stacked perfectly on top of that ankle, hands up overhead, torso expands, but shoulders soften. Hands float gently all the way down to the mat and take that right foot, step it up into forward fold. A very soft forward fold here, just starting out. So fingertips on the mat, knees are bent, relax. Hands can grab onto those heels. They can just relax here on the mat. You can interlace your arms, a little bit of a rag doll, whatever you like. Two more breaths. Then inhale into half lift, flat back, exhale, fold on down. Next inhale, chin is the last to rise, slow and steady, coming all the way up. Your hands up overhead, squeeze your glutes, exhale, let it go. <sighs> inhale, hands up, exhale, fold, come all the way down. <sighs> hands on the mat, take that left leg, bring it back for a brief lunge. Hold here, lower down to your back knee, untuck your toes, and then bring that right hand on the inside of that foot, coming into a brief lizard pose. So walk this right foot up and out towards that top right corner of your mat, letting your knee fall on out. If you want, you can come down to your forearms, but we won't be here for too long. So maybe just taking a couple breaths. Very slowly, heel toe, that foot back to neutral. And then tucking your toes behind you, downward facing dog. Okay, next side, right leg, brief three-legged, bring it through, base of your lunge, and then slow, 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 both hands up overhead, your crescent lunge, Anjanyasana. So, 
hips square, right knee stacked on top. Keep with your breath high on the back ball of that foot. Steady, calming breaths. Okay, hands come all the way down to frame that foot, and then step your back foot up into forward fold. Uttanasana, just relax. Just breathe. Maybe a little bit of a rag doll if you wish. Knees are bent, just hang. Whenever you're ready, inhale, half lift, flat back, exhale, fold, come on down. Chin is the last to rise, coming all the way up, hands up overhead, squeeze your glutes, exhale, let it go. Ah, inhale, hands up, exhale, swan dive, all the way down. Very good, fingertips on the mat, identify your right leg, bring it all the way back, set it down, and then lower down to your back knee, untuck your toes, Left hand inside of that left foot. Brief lizard pose. Heel toe that left foot up and out. No need to come down to your forearms unless you would really like to, but just breathe. Let that hip open up. Let that knee fall on out. Three breaths. Close your eyes. Exhales. Soften your hip. And very slowly, heel toeing, that foot on back, hands on the mat, and downward facing dog, bring it on back. Down dog, from your down dog, shifting forward into plank pose, holding in that plank, lower down to your knees, if you would like, you can always stay in your regular plank and lowering out into chaturanga, push it back up, lower all the way down and then raise on up, upward facing dog and then downward facing dog. Alrighty, walking hands to feet, feet to hands for forward fold, just relax, just hang. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Chin is the last to rise. Hands come to heart center. Leave them here. Roll your shoulders back. Then inhale, hands up. Exhale, gentle back bend. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, and by your side. Relax. Very good. Okay. Shake it out, kick it out, move around. Gonna do a couple of uh, crescent moons, back bend, and then a forward bend, and then getting into a nice long flow, incorporating that gomukasana cow face. So bring your hands on up overhead and interlace your fingers, point your fingers, come out, biceps by your ears, trying to have your shoulders stacked above your hips so not, you know, tilting back or tilting forward too much. Eye gaze out into infinity, grow through your torso, lengthen upward, but soften your shoulders. Hips come to the right and then tilting to the left, just gently. Crescent moon, just breathe. And slow, 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 come on back. Excellent work. Okay, next side. Inhale, lengthen upward, exhale, tilting to the right. Remember not slouching or dipping, rather keeping that good integrity by that nice lengthening all the way from the base of that hip to that left armpit. And coming on back, soften, release. Brief back bend, so nothing too serious. We don't need to come too far back. 
Bring your fingertips on your low back. You can always make fists. Bring them in at your low back as well, whatever's most comfortable. Roll your shoulders back, eye gaze comes up, and heel toe those feet together if they're not already. And coming on back, slow, gentle. And come on back. Release everything, shake it out. Getting set up for our Parahastasana, hands to feet pose, chin into chest, and then just round on down. Relaxing, putting a bend in your knees. So take your peace sign fingers, wrap them around your big toes, or if you want, you can slide your palms all the way underneath your feet, making sure you got that nice separation between your feet. Relax your neck and very slowly you begin to straighten your knees. Keep with that breath. We'll be here for a while, so getting comfortable in this pose as best as you can, engaging those quadriceps, helps to release those hamstrings just a little bit. A couple more breaths, stay with it. Release your hands and heel toe your feet together. Roll your wrists out. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. And chin is the last to rise, coming all the way up. Shake it out, move around. Okay, kick out your feet. Alrighty, now coming into a little bit of a longer flow with a couple of standing postures and our Gumukasana. So hands on your hips here and beginning with tree. So the left heel kick stands on the inside of that ankle, kind of finding that good position here with your hips square and allowing that leg to open on up, swiveling your knee towards the back of the mat. And then if you're good here, bringing that foot onto your calf. And if you're okay here, bringing it up to that inner thigh and wherever you are is fine. Just avoid resting your heel on your knee joint. We wanna avoid that area altogether. Growing your branches as you please. Sprouting leaves, pew, 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 if you like. That's probably not the sound effect for leaves sprouting. Rustle, rustle, rustle. <laughs> Holding here in your tree, just breathe. Eye gaze out into infinity. <sighs> okay, grab for that knee and bring it out in front of you. Interlace your fingers underneath that knee and just Hold your leg, roll your shoulders back. Modified standing forehead to knee. Take up the weight of that leg into your arm. So nice strong arms, but nice relaxed leg. Okay, staying right where you are. Keep that knee exactly where it is. Release your hands. Bring your hands up overhead. Interlace your fingers. Pointer fingers come out. And gracefully tilting, coming back into that 
warrior three. You don't need to go far, maybe just keeping a nice straight line from your toes, through that knee, through your glutes, through your low back, your upper back, up to those shoulders, to your fingertips, holding. And backing off from your warrior three just a little bit wherever you are, those toes kick standing behind you, hands on your hips. And then from here, those left toes bring them all the way back into the base of that lunge position. Hands up overhead. And left hand comes all the way down to the mat. Right hand up overhead. Gentle twist. Coming back up into that lunge position. Hold. Okay, hands come all the way down to the mat. Downward facing dog. Ah, pedal it out. Move around. And then from here, bringing both knees down onto the mat, untucking your toes, relaxing in your thunderbolt. A couple of breaths. Both hands up overhead, getting set up for your half tortoise. And gently, gently coming on down your Adra Kurmasana. Knife edges of your pinkies on the mat, forehead on the mat. Just breathe, just soften. Those forearms lift because on your inhales, you very gently reach your fingertips forward. And on your exhales, you soften your shoulders. Engage your core, come back up, slow, 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 slow. And release. Shift your weight forward into a tabletop. Holding in your tabletop. Okay. Left knee comes all the way around, wrapping over that right. So this is the base of your cow face pose. So again, left knee wraps all the way around your right. And then slowly, slowly separate your feet behind you, sitting on back into the base of that cow face posture. And if your knees are kind of way far off here, that's fine. Um, really just separating your feet as best as you can. Try to find that good, healthy balance. Keep that nice 90 degree angle your ankles here keeping them flexed so that we protect our knee joints fingertips behind us roll your shoulders back inhale lengthen exhale hinge inhale lengthen exhale hinge inhale lengthen exhale hinge and slowly, slowly, slowly come on back. Okay, so this is a pretty um, dynamic transition here. We're gonna come into the other way of doing our uh, cow face pose. So really all you're doing is just kind of pivoting around on the balls of your feet here. Turn your body, placing your hands down to frame that foot over here. So turning to the right. So twist your body to the right. Place your hands down on the mat. And then you gently pick yourself up and spin on around. So keep walking your hands full 360. Bring them all the way around, all the way around, pivoting on those feet. And now your right knee is on top and your left knee is on bottom. So yeah, it's kind of like a yoga break dance move, right? If you got confused during that, it's okay. We're gonna have more uh, chances to practice. So right knee should be on top, left knee should be on bottom. And if you're not super snug here in that cow face pose, that's totally okay. Just 
Find yourself wherever you are, getting as comfortable as you can. Hands around behind you. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge. Coming back up. Okay, so we are going to practice going the other way now. So hands turn to the left. So turn your shoulders to the left and picking yourself up. Spin all the way back around, all the way back around into cow face again on that same side. So this time it's left knee on top, right knee on bottom. Lots of cow face today. That is the name of the class. So, okay, now in this version here, we're going to add the bind. So bring your, if your left knee is on top, which it should be, left knee on top, bring your right elbow up and then grabbing it with that opposite hand, finding that stretch. If you can find that bind behind you, then cool. If not, that's perfectly fine as well. Working with your breath, inhale, lengthen, exhale, hinge. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, hinge. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, hinge. Release, hands by your sides. And now, walk your hands forward into that tabletop. <laughs> Pedal it out, kick it out, move around. Okay, walk your hands out just a little bit. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Again, walking it out, bringing life into those legs. And go ahead, walk your feet all the way up to your hands. Relax. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Chin is the last to rise. Coming up, hands remain at heart center, but shoulders roll back as you exhale. Then inhale, hands up. Exhale, very gentle back bend. Hands come up. Exhale and by your sides. Shake it out, move around. Okay, going through the whole next side. So, getting set up in your tree pose. If you wanna get a quick sip of water, that's fine. Right foot kickstands on the inside of your ankle. And then bringing it on up. So, placing that foot on your calf here. And as you wish, bringing it up higher and higher, just avoiding that knee joint wherever you are. Finding that balance, that integrity here in your tree pose. Strong left leg engaged, allows you to lift gently out of that low back. Shoulders soften, growing your branches as you please. And hands grab for that leg. Bring that knee out in front of you and interlace your fingers underneath your knee. So interlace those fingers, strong grasp underneath that knee. Roll your shoulders back, chest up, sternum lifts and relax that leg. Nice, strong grasp here. Breathe. Okay. Leave your knee exactly where it is and then bring your hands up overhead and very slowly, slowly, slowly coming into warrior three, but again, we do not need to come far. 
maybe only a 45 degree angle in that warrior three. Just focusing on that good integrity of that nice straight line through that leg, through your butt, through your low back, through your spine, shoulders, head, fingertips. Not flaring that hip out, rather keeping your hips nice and square, engaging that inner left thigh, that standing leg. And kickstanding those toes behind you. Very good. Hands on your hips. Still nice, strong, powerful left leg. Those right toes. Bring it all the way back into the base of that lunge. Hands up overhead. Powerful, strong crescent lunge. Right hand comes all the way down on the inside of that foot and left hand up overhead. Gentle twist. With focus, with control, bringing both hands back up overhead. And hands come down to the mat, downward facing dog. Pedal it out, move around. Knees, lower on down to the mat, untuck your toes, push it on back. Excellent. Eye gaze forward. Here in your thunderbolt, just a couple of breaths, palms on your lap. If you're breathing quick, slowing that breath down. Hands come up overhead, prayer position, and your Ajra Kormasana, half tortoise, coming on down. Knife edges of those pinkies on the mat, forehead on the mat. Remember, inhales lengthen and reach those fingertips forward. Exhales, soften your shoulders. Engage your core, slow, slow, slow. Come all the way back up and soften, release, shake it out. Very good. Okay, shift your weight forward into that tabletop. Wag it out, shake it out. All right, this time starting with that right leg so right knee bring it all the way up and around wrapping it around that left and if you need to kind of center things up in your mat go ahead knees close together as you can and separate your feet and slowly slowly come on back sitting all the way down now if one knee is way above the other, that's fine. This is normal. Doing your best to keep your knees stacked on top of one another. And if you can't, it's cool. It happens. So holding here. Remember, we'll get into the bind in just a minute, but bring your hands around behind you. Inhale, just lengthen your spine. Exhales, hinge forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge. Stay with it. Come on back. Okay, same transition we did before. Remember, we're gonna get plenty of practice at this. So twist, placing your hands down on the left edge here, left edge of your mat, and picking yourself up, 
twisting. Remember just pivoting, swirling around on the balls of those feet. So just keep walking your hands around, walk your hands around, keep walking, 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 and then your right knee comes on the bottom. Your left knee is on top. Very good. Okay, hands beside you. Nice flat spine and hinging forward. Remember, inhales will lengthen your spine. Exhales help you tilt and hinge on out. And come on back. Okay, doing the spin move all the way back. So place your hands on the right edge of your mat and walk them all the way around behind you. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. And sitting on down. Right knee on top, left knee on bottom. Very good. All right, now since our right knee is on top, we want our left elbow to come on up. Grab it with your opposite hand, and if you can bind, that's cool, but if not, no worries. Inhales, lengthen your spine. Exhale, hinge. Come on down. Coming back up and release very good all right and from here walk your hands forward coming into that tabletop position extend your legs on out kicking them out bring life into those legs and hands walk out just a little bit then downward they sing dog. Pedal it out, walk it out, move around. Weight shifts forward into your plank pose. And lower yourself all the way down to the mat. Untuck your toes. And left or right ear on the mat, whichever one you like, just breathe. <sighs> Eventually rolling onto your back for a first Shavasana. Getting that water break anytime you wish. Not too many more postures left. No more Gomukhasana, considering we did, um, you know, three of them on each side. So total of six, I suppose, and that's uh, quite a lot. It's kind of a really nice restorative posture because it really lets you get into those hips, hamstrings, and glutes and everything. Just relaxing on back in your Shavasana. Feet fall out, arms fall out. Just relax. Perfect opportunity to check in with that breath. Listening to the sound of it coming in through your nose. And out through your nose. Couple more breaths. Identify your right knee, bring it on up, and interlace your fingers at the top of that knee. Now, rather than a wind removing where we're bringing it in kind of towards our midline, Let's get a gentle hip opening and bring it out, kind of down towards that right armpit a little bit. And it may be good to rest your 
elbow here on the ground and get a firm grasp with that right hand. You can guide it out as much as you like. You can even release your left hand and bring it off to the side, maybe cactus arm to kind of give some space here. And this right ankle, relax it. Doing your best to relax this whole leg and just let it be kind of supported here by that right hand. Okay, take your left hand, reach it all the way across, grab through that knee, and then pulling it clear across your body for that spinal twist. And then cactus arming your right arm this time. Breathe. Slow, slow, bringing that leg on back and set everything on down, shake it out. All right, bend both of your knees now, getting set up for a brief bridge pose, palms on the mat, and go ahead and lift on up, coming into that bridge pose, breathe. Inhales, belly rises. Exhales, belly softens. Stay with it. Shield wiper. Just kind of tick tocking your knees back and forth. Legs come on down, brief shavasana, bob it out, shake it out. Okay, left knee this time, bring it on up and guide it on out and very gently setting down that left elbow a very firm grasp on the top of that shin maybe of this left knee and then you can cactus arm that right arm out and this left ankle this left leg everything relax it completely and allowing your arms kind of take some of the weight and guide everything on out Gently, gently, gently bringing it on back. Very good. All right, right hand now grabs for that knee and then bringing it all the way across. Left arm, cactus arms out. And just breathe here in your twist. Letting things loose and soften. So close to our Shavasana. Just breathe, release, and allow. Excellent. Slow, 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 slow. 
Come on back. And release that leg on down. All right, shake it out, bob it out. And releasing, relaxing on your mat. Hands come on out. Close your eyes. Entering your Shavasana. Just soften. Breaths in through your nose. And out through your nose. Forgetting about everything, forgetting about your day. Dissolving into the mat, into the earth, nowhere to go, nowhere to be, nothing to do other than just being here where you are. Choosing to remain in your Shavasana for a few more breaths, perfectly fine. Or if you like, you can wiggle your fingertips, wiggle your toes. And slowly, slowly come on. Coming to that seated position so that we can bow together. <sighs> Beautiful, awesome, amazing practice, everyone. Thanking you all so, so much for being here. And if you enjoyed this class, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought about the cool breakdance transition. Uh, so yeah, have an awesome rest of your day. From my heart to all of yours, namaste. Mm -hmm.